Universe and Isaac Ross. Someday, everything that moves will be autonomous, either fully or mostly autonomous. By 2024, the vast majority of new EVs will have substantial AV capability. We are developing an end-to-end -end flow for building autonomous vehicles, as well as a full-stack in-car AV system and a global cloud map. NVIDIA Drive is full-stack and an open AV platform. Customers can decide to use just our development flow, parts of our driving computer, connect to our cloud map, or partner with us end-to-end. -end. We're working with companies building cars, SUVs, sports cars, trucks, vans, robo-taxis, and food delivery vehicles. Autonomous vehicles are robots. And the same three pillars of machine learning development apply. Training models with NVIDIA AI and DGX, simulation and synthetic data generation with DriveSim on Omniverse, and a real-time robotics pipeline with DriveAV on the Orin robotics chip. The first goal is to transform the data from surround sensors into a 4D world model. The left image is showing the surround cameras. The right image is the world model, essentially the mind of the car. With a high integrity and high precision world model, we use it to avoid obstacles, localize to a map, reason about the environment, and plan paths to reach our destination. It starts with the sensor and computing architecture of the car. The design should allow for high fidelity sensing, redundancy and failover safety, with sufficient computing power and programmability to process software improvements for the life of the car. This is Hyperion 8, the architecture of 2024 models. The sensor suite is 12 cameras, 9 radars, 12 ultrasonics, and one front LiDAR. All of this is processed by two Orins. For the dev kit, we include Ampere GPUs to give plenty of performance headroom so that engineers can have the best environment to prototype new software. Hyperion 8 is available today. For anyone developing an AV or sensors for AV, Hyperion 8 is an ideal platform. We collect petabytes of road data from around the world and have some 3,000 trained labelers creating training data. Still, synthetic data generation is a cornerstone of our data strategy. Here you see a scene through the simulated surround cameras with data labeled automatically. And on the right, some of the AI models that were trained with the data. Drive Sim Replicator is a synthetic data generator for autonomous vehicles and is built on Omniverse. The lens models are simulated and consider motion blur, rolling shutter, LED flicker, and Doppler effect. We work closely with sensor makers to accurately model their sensors. The camera, radar, and LiDAR sensor models are path traced. The materials are physically simulated for accurate beam reflections. We built a LiDAR materials library, and now we're also building a radar materials library. Replicator is a game changer for us. Replicator bootstraps the AI labeling tools and the AI models before Hyperion 8 is even built and any data has been collected. Replicator can label ground truth in ways that humans cannot tracking moving objects across sensors, velocity, distance, occlusion, severe weather conditions. It is accurate and low cost, and it augments data where we have known gaps. Mapping is a critical pillar of driving. It is the collective memory of the fleet and can be considered another sensor. A couple of months ago, we welcomed DeepMap to our company. DeepMap is a world-leading expert in mapping for autonomous driving. Between DeepMap and our existing map team, we're scaling out globally. We do both survey mapping and fleet mapping. Fleet mapping crowdsources, or with one car, incrementally builds up a drivable map. 
With each drive, more of the route is perceived and reconstructed in 3D. Survey mapping is a fleet dedicated to mapping. We will have a fleet to survey map the most popular areas in the world. Survey maps prime the fleet even before it's launched. It also serves as the ground truth data for our cloud mapping AI system. Since the last GTC, we've turned on urban driving and autonomous parking. We're now running Hyperion 8 sensors, 4D perception, deep learning-based multi-sensor fusion, feature tracking, and a new planning engine. This is our Mercedes Hyperion 8, driving a route of urban streets and highways near our headquarters. You will see Mercedes negotiate merges, crosswalks, intersections, a roundabout, a cloverleaf, merge contenders, cut-ins, and pedestrians. Enjoy. AV will revolutionize how cars drive and will greatly improve road safety. The inside of the car will also be revolutionized. The technology of Maxine will reimagine how we interact with our cars. With Maxine, your car will become a concierge. Maxine will show you what is on the mind of the chauffeur precisely and use neural graphics to reconstruct a 3D surround view so that you can have confidence in the autonomous driving. Maxine will summon valet mode, search for a parking spot, and park the car. And Maxine, with all the amazing avatar technologies we're building, will seem incredibly smart. What kind of driving modes do you have? I have max range, super hush, sport, and super sport. Which would you like? I don't want to be late. Let's go super sport. Got it. Super sport it is. All of this will run on the new Orin robotics chip. Future cars will be your personal AI chauffeur and AI concierge. The technologies I've shown you today make all this possible. Here we've applied it to autonomous vehicles, but the technology can be generalized to all kinds of robotic applications. 